What's up, dudes? It's your bestest buddy in the whole freaking galaxy, Urban Blaster, playing some Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It's that free-to-play mobile game because I don't pay for this shit. And today we're going to be talking about the new, the latest character at the moment, Asako Tano uh, Fulcrum. She's that light side uh, rebel attacker. She's uh, doing some protection ups, divvying that out. She's uh, loading herself up with some uh, green above the head, and then she uses that against you uh, for... Uh, the Mega Molly Wop. But let's uh, go take a look at this wicked character and her abilities. I have uh, been getting uh, mixed reviews about her, so we're going to take a 7 star uh, Ahsoka Tano for a test drive. But let's uh, take a look at her abilities first. Okay, dudes, here we are. It's uh, Fulcrum Ahsoka Tano. She's that light side rebel attacker. She brings protection up, buffs, and a mega molly wop. But we'll get into that soon. She's uh, currently uh, only farmable by packs, and uh, it's debatable whether uh, she's worth the money, but we'll test her out and get it get an opinion on that but as you can see she has the uh, a basic that's the uh, balance strike this thing deals physical damage to a target enemy and gains protection up uh, 40 percent for two turns and grants protection up 40 percent to a random ally does that doesn't have it so that's on her basic so if you could get her churning through some turns bam you got the protection all around protection up that is then she has their special to meditate this is uh, when Ahsoka gains Foresight, Retribution, and each non-unique buff, excluding taunts, uh, present on other allies, and she gets those for two turns, then gains 15% uh, turn meter for each buff on her. Bam! She's going to be getting her turn meters up, she's going to be getting Foresight, which will uh, keep her from getting hit, and she's going to get Retribution. So if she does uh, take a hit, she'll... Um, do the counter using her basic and that's gonna divvy out those protection ups it's kind of like a a pretty good thing but that's uh... we'll see how the foresight works with the retribution i don't know if that's uh... don't those counteract each other but i don't know we'll see and then um... she gets the uh... not uh... non unique buffs from her uh... allies excluding taunts of course and then um... She has her net other special, the Whirlwind. This thing is uh, when she consumes all buffs on Ahsoka and deals physical damage to a target enemy. This attack scores an additional hit for each type of buff, buff consumed. So bam, you run her uh, other special. She's going to get all those buffs. And then you want to do uh, a big ass uh, Mega Molly Wop on someone, you do the Whirlwind. And this thing does have an, uh, uh, Zeta. As you can see, the target enemy can't evade and has a uh, minus 50% armor against this attack and it takes the cooldown by one so if you don't have that Zeta your cooldown is going to be four and you're not going to get that uh, where they can't evade and they don't won't get that minus 50% armor but uh, if you get the Zeta this is, might become a, a Mega Molly Wop one hit killer and uh, as you can see she does have a uh, a unique. This is uh, when Ahsoka is immune to damage over time effects. She can't take those at dots, so she's a counter to the Darth Vader and gains 30% uh, critical of avoidance. At the end of each turn, Ahsoka dispels all debuffs on herself and loses 10% uh, health for each debuff dispelled, then recovers 5% health for each buff on her. This health uh, loss can't defeat Ahsoka, so that's pretty good. She can, She's immune to dots, and she gains 30% uh, critical avoidance. And then if she uh, has the red above her head, she's going to use up some of her health to uh, get rid of that, but then if you got the green above your head, she's going to get some of that back. So it's, it's a win-win situation for uh, all uh, Fulcrum Asaka Tano, and then as you can see, she um, she doesn't have uh, the 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 worst pieces of gear, t in my opinion, to get for her is uh, she does take um, what is that four uh, stun cuffs, four Carbonis, and uh, two uh, MK5 uh, uh, squirt guns. Those things uh, usually go hand in hand with those Carbonis, but um. Overall, I'm liking her kit so far. I think she's going to be a threat with that one-hit kill. But let's uh, go take her for a test drive and see what she's all about. Okay, dudes, first up, we're going to take on a light side 9A hard. 
Um, I don't think uh, she's worthy for 9B, uh, so we won't uh, get humiliated with that battle. But uh, the first uh, Ahsoka, Ahsoka Fulcrum Tano that we're going to be looking at is provided by my uh, ally and homie, E. Walken from Team Instinct. As you can see, she is uh, maxed out except for one Omega on her unique. She is uh, 7 stars, level 85, power level of 10,407. And uh, let's uh, take a look at... Um, her uh, stats and all that. As you can see, she has uh, a whopping health of 20,000, protection of 22,000. Um, he did say he wasn't able to uh, focus on speed with her right now. He is uh, testing her out with some uh, uh, more focusing on damage. So as you can see, her critical damage is at 216%. Uh, and um, her physical damage is at 3,771. <laughs> Bam! But uh, let's take out, let's check out these mods. He has, um, as you can see, there's a uh, full uh, critical, uh, what is that? A critical chance, critical damage set, and then a mismatch. So uh, as you can see, we got some uh, protection and offense there. Some uh, critical chance and offense there and uh, some critical chance protection and health on this one and uh, some offense there he uh, e walking it say he's focusing on a uh, offense right now testing her out so there isn't much uh, secondary speeds going on but she uh, is just made to frickin hit like a tank we'll do that uh, mega molly wop and see what goes on but uh, let's see what we could do against uh, 9A hard. I mean, 9A light side hard. Frickin' A, let's do this shit. Okay, here we are. One of three. They got those uh, frickin' uh, AOEs going on. But we got Bays and Chays out there. Speed down on that full. Okay, now we'll uh, we won't be uh, doing any healing or anything, so we'll just uh, go after this dude with the speed, with the basic, get us some uh, heal over time on somebody. AOEs from Wedge and Tilly's. Oh, we wiped those frickers out. Frickin' plebs. Okay, we'll do her basic. Get rid of this twerp. Bam. Two of three on our way to victory. And if you're wondering why uh, Sako Tano's not a Jedi, she never did complete her uh, Jedi uh, trial, so uh, she is a rebel right now, so we're rolling with the full team of rebel. Ooh, make it rain some blood on our enemies with no frickin' remorse. So these uh, chumps ain't got no uh, buffs on them, so we'll just uh, take out um, my man 88, 86. Okay, here we go. Bam! Damn, we might have had to take out those uh, frickin' AOEs, but we'll uh, we'll go after this dude. Hitting hard. We'll uh, triple mollywop this fool, put him out of his frickin' misery. Now we'll do some make it rain some more blood on these fools. Bam! <laughs> okay, we haven't got to see much of a... Uh, it's the final encounter! Oh yeah! But here we go, now it's time to bring out the big guns. Okay, first off, we'll uh, pick off Dangar. Frickin' A, he'll hide like a little punk. And now we'll uh, do some, uh, some, uh, so uh, we'll get some retributions and stuff. But we'll do her special where she gets the, all the buffs. She got foresight and uh, retribution. That's uh, pretty good. She didn't get that taunt. And um, there's no other buffs for her to get, but this is a, uh, Damn, we should have did some heal over times. Oh well, we'll do some uh frickety frack, man. We'll uh save that one, we'll get some uh heal. We'll uh we'll just do his uh third spe second special. Hit hard on uh on eighty eight. He's eighty six as cool cousin. And now we'll uh frickin' uh we'll try to get him take him out because he is the frickin' uh, hard hitter on that team.
Bam, there goes Bay. so now we'll make a raid some blood on these fools. No frickin' remorse, they pissed me off. AOE's all around! AOE's from Wedge and Tilly! Okay, now we'll, uh, we'll, uh, just, uh, heal, uh, everybody's healed, so we'll, uh, we'll just get some heal over time over a random person, take out this pleb, well, it didn't take him out, but nobody got the frickin' heal over time, maybe just Shroot did. But let's, uh, see how hard, uh, she only has one buff. Oh well, we'll uh, just do the uh, Mega Molly Wop and see what it does. Oh, we almost crushed that dude. So now we'll uh, triple Molly Wop him, put him out of his frickin' misery. Dangar and his tenacity downs. No worry, they got those AOEs, but we got the numbers. Now we'll uh, take out this guy. His turn's coming up. Bam. One boss down, one more to go. Now we'll make a rain some blood on these fools and uh, get some health back. Now we'll uh, debuff and heal up. Bam! Now we'll uh, Asaka Tano. What does she'll uh, divvy up some protection up? I don't think that regains protection, but I don't really know what it does. I think it just uh, it did divvy out some purple. Bada bing! Saving our team! Okay, now we'll uh, get rid of this last uh, pleb. And uh, Chirrut should uh, molly wop this dude into yesterday. Victory! Liking what I see so far. She doesn't have that speed, so we did, uh, but we did get to use all of her specials. Wish there was some uh, heal over times going on when she did the second special, but oh well. We'll uh, test drive her again. Yeah! Victory! Okay, dudes, here we are, and we're gonna take on 9B hard. Gonna see if uh, I, I, I don't know. This might be a train wreck, but we're gonna frickin' see what we could do now that we got uh, Baze and Chiru to. Uh, Gear 10, they're out there kicking ass. We have a full uh, rebel team. We got Wedge and Tilly's as the lead. He's uh, bumping up our offense, so we hit even frickin' harder. And we got a uh, big Stark Lighter bringing the frickin' heat. The triple Molly Wop. Then we got that smooth criminal Lando Calrissian. He's making it rain some blood on some fools with no remorse. But this uh, Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum is uh, provided by my ally Leroy Jenkins. He rolls with the uh, Dark Lords of Omega. And um, as you can see, his is uh, 7 stars, level 85. Fully maxed titties on all the, the uh, abilities. And um, let's check out his numbers. As you can see, uh, health of 21,000, protection of 24,000. Holy crap, he did focus on speed, so we will get to see uh, hopefully her in use a lot more. She has uh, some pretty good critical damage and uh, some uh, really decent physical damage. Let's uh, check out how we monitor her. So uh, she, he, uh, Leroy Jenkins did throw on um, a critical chance mod set and a critical uh, damage mod set with the arrow I'm guessing at 30 speed and uh, some pretty good health on there and then on the uh, other crit uh, chance mod you got some uh, offense to keep her uh, hitting hard and some uh, 9 speed secondary there then we got the uh, critical damage set and on the triangle got the uh, plus 30 percent uh, plus 36 percent critical damage with some speed and some other really good stuff and then uh, some 17 speed there and a frickin some offense right there and on the cross he went with protection to keep her alive with some more uh, additionary protection and some speed and then on the circle some health with um, 18 speed and some critical chance okay so he focused on speed crit damage and crit uh, chance but let's uh, take this wicked team of rebels into action I uh. I don't know how 9B's gonna go, but let's do this shit. I ain't afraid to, uh, to, uh, take a loss. Hopefully it's not that bad, because, you know, they got those relentless AoEs. But I do want to see a, a Sokka Tano in action, so hopefully they don't take us out before we take them out. But we got the the healing power of Chiru, and we got the, uh, hard hits of, uh, everyone else. 
but we'll uh we'll uh just do the basic get some heal over time over someone got it over lando we'll uh frick we'll get our protection ups bam <laughs> and now we'll do some aoe's from wedge and tilly oh almost wiped him out but we'll uh we'll frick triple molly wop this dude bam <laughs> it might have been a waste but you never know it might have paid off because his basic may not have uh, wiped that dude out. So we'll uh, take this dude out and frickin' move on to uh, two of three. Two of three. Second verse worse than the first. Here we go. They got the AoEs, but we got the frickin' Asaka Tanos out there. So we'll uh, we'll uh, buffer up. Bam. Got that foresight. Good for uh, evasion on these AOEs. So now we'll uh, go after this dude. He has AOEs. But he doesn't, he can't take a frickin' hit. Not from this rebel team. Oh, there goes Baze. Frickity frack. Oh well, we don't need a three star. Already done that. Been there, done that. So now we'll, uh, we'll frickin' his turn's coming up. So we'll uh, try her Mega Molly Wop. Bam! <laughs> One hit! Frick! That was uh, pretty wicked right there. We don't need any healing. There's not that many buffs on anyone, so we'll just uh, go on as basic. Now we'll make it rain some blood on these fools and a better frickin' crit on both. Now we'll take out uh, frickin' uh, my man 86. Now we'll triple molly wop this dude. Tech us to level 3 of 3. It's the final encounter. Oh yeah. Bam. <laughs> gonna take out uh we're gonna focus on uh Boba Fett of course the first. Can't frickin' uh we don't want him getting those uh ability blocks off. We'll get some uh protection up on uh Lando and on Ahsoka. Now we'll frickin' uh oh, it's a tough call, but we'll uh try to do a second special, see how much damage it does. Bam! <laughs> We don't got no Bays out there to take the heat off the team, but we do got Chirrut out there divvying out those uh, heals over time. Plus, he'll uh, heal us up. Frick, there goes those AoEs. We ain't got no turn meter reductions. We're going to get wiped out here, dude. But no worries. We got Lando still. Embo, you frickin' pleb. Okay, let's uh, frickin' bump up our uh, buffs. Bam! She got that, uh, as you can see, she did get the um, heal over time, because uh, Chirrut had that. Now we'll uh, hopefully get rid of Boba before he gets his frickin' turn off, and we did him. But she dodged that, because she got that uh, foresight. Bada bing! Now we'll uh, do the Mega Molly Wop on, uh, frick, this, uh, these AoE dudes. Let's just do a Tambo, because, I don't know, we'll, maybe we will go against these dudes and see if there's a chance that we could frickin' survive. Bam! Oh, it didn't hit as hard that time. Oh, well. Embo, you frickin' idiot. He does have the one of the coolest hats in the game, though. We did get uh, defeated, but we did get to see uh, the, mo the, mo the Mega Molly Wop of Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum. Surprise! Get that coin out of my face! Okay, dude, it's gonna take on one more battle. This is 9D hard, light side. Gonna uh, test drive her once more, see if, uh, just kind of put her to the test again. Gonna run the same exact team, because she does well with this team, and I want a frickin' victory. This one that uh, we're gonna be test driving is provided by my ally, Scrotez. He's rolling with Team Instinct. Um, as you can see, she's uh, seven stars, fully uh, max tittied on the uh, abilities. He's rolling with crit uh, chance, two crit chance sets, uh, and a mismatch of stuff. But let's take a look at her numbers. 20,000 health, 21,000 protection. That seems to be the average. He did focus on speed, so hopefully we'll see a lot of turns. Um, a crit damage of 186, a little bit higher, I believe, from the last two. And physical damage of 31,000. Bam! Okay, let's uh, see what kind of mods he has. He has uh, two crit chance sets. This one has uh, speed and offense and health are the main biggest boosts. This one has uh, protection, speed, and offense. 
hitting hard with that offense. Then on this one, he went with the uh, speed mod mismatch because it had probably because it had protection, help, and speed. Then on the cross, uh, Scrotez went with the um, offense as the primary speed and more offense and protection on the secondaries. Crit damage on the triangle, so she hits like a freaking train. Some speed and some offense there. And then uh, the plus 30 speed arrow, bringing in some health and some more offense. Frickin' A. These dudes are uh, seem to be stacking on the crit chances and the offense. Because uh, you want that Mega Molly Wop to go off. But let's set it off and let's do this shit. Okay, light side 9D. Gonna take it on. I've three starred all these, so if we, uh, I do want a victory though, but gotta push this team to the limit. And, uh, Asako doesn't have any leadership skills, so, but it's not a waste, because I want to frickin' test her out. We'll take out this dude before he can get a turn off. Bam! <laughs> okay, now we'll, uh, take out the B 52 battle dork. Frick, man, should we dispel these dudes? No, we'll save that and just go with this basic. Frick, maybe I shouldn't have. But we got base. He could take a hit, and he could divvy it out. Let's do some protection ups. Oh, and this time, uh, Wedge and Tilly's got that protection up. If you could see that frickin', uh, sliver of, uh, protection. Purple. Bam! Oh, crap. Well, we won't charge up Lando's, uh, AoE yet. No need. This frickin', uh, Clanker's gonna get a frickin' beaten now, and we'll move on to two of three. Get some more protection up. Oh, I didn't see who got it. Doesn't matter. I don't think it transfers over. But two of three on our way to victory. We'll take out these uh, B super, uh, B2 super battle dorks first because they freaking annoy me. Crap, we don't even get to debuff some dudes. We got freaking Bays out there. Bays the bus, Malbus, AoEs from Wedge and Tilly's just straight wrecking these dudes. We'll save our uh, good stuff for uh, 3 of 3. We need to see some Fulcrum Matano coming out. We did see a lot of protection ups from her. We'll save her good stuff for last. More protection up. Molly Wop that fool. Okay, Lando. His basic hit's pretty good, so uh, we should uh, get rid of this dude right now. Bam! 3 of 3. It's the final encounter. Oh, yeah. Here we are, gonna go up against uh, General Grievous, that frickin' lunger of a clanker, and now we'll uh, take out this uh, red B2 rocket trooper super dork dude, frickin' A, triple mollywop that dude, he dodged, dodged that fool, okay, they got that off, we'll uh, we don't need it, there's nothing to dispel, frickity frack, but we will uh, <sighs> uh, we'll just do, uh, maybe we should save it. Frick, I hate being conservative. I just want to use up those frickin' abilities. But we did get some, uh, heal over time on base. We need him to frickin' Tom, but he's gonna... Oh, crap. Frickity frack. Okay. AoE's from base. Okay, a Sakatano should be coming up. We'll do her, uh... Oh, she, uh... We got some, uh, we want to get some buffs on her. We got to take out this, uh, rocket clanker. Now we'll, uh, get some, uh, buffs over her. Bam, that's the most buffs we've seen on her. Now we'll, uh, do her, uh, frickin', uh, make a molly wop against this, uh, dude. He hasn't taken much damage, so let's see what she could do. Frickity frack. Bam. Saw a lot of, uh, going on. Didn't see a lot of crits, though. Now we'll take out Super Rocket, dude. Bam! Okay, now we'll make it rain some blood on these fools from Lando Calrissian. That frickin', uh... Smooth criminal from Cloud City. Now we'll take out this Super Battle Dork. And we got Baze out there taking the heat off the team, helping us survive. 
gonna we won't three star but we already did we'll freaking finally get a chance to uh, debuff some dudes heal us up triple molly wops oh we don't got a wedge so we it's the double molly wop a aoe's from uh lando raining some blood on these fools with no freaking remorse these goddamn clankers okay We'll uh, spread the love around, get some more buffs on Asaka, Tano, Fulcrum, and then uh, we'll do some, uh, frick, I want to make a Mollywop uh, Grievous. Oh well, this dude's uh, taunted, but it'd be the last time he ever frickin' taunts. Now we'll uh, take out this other dude, hoping to uh, get Fulcrum over there uh, doing the Mega Mollywop on Grievous. Okay, now we'll uh, take this dude out with the... Uh, Frickin' uh, Chiru. Oh, we lost base. No worries. We'll uh, do his basic. Last blow is from uh, Asaka Falcon Tano. Bada bing! Mega Molly Wop that fool. Victory! And we crushed it. Okay, one start it. But. <sighs> Les victory! Ooh, give me chills. Okay, dude, so you just saw, we just uh, test drove three seven stars, different uh, modded uh, Fulcrum Asaka Tanos. She's that uh, light side uh, rebel attacker. She's uh, doing those protection ups on her basics, so that uh, is pretty good. She's uh, divvying that around. I don't know how uh, it'll, it could become, uh, it might be a little bit um, annoying in Arena if she does that. It just, uh, she's, I don't know, it's not the best but it does uh, it, it could uh, be the saving grace in arena and then you got her uh, second special that's when she uh, put some uh, foresight and retribution above herself we did see that foresight uh, saver from um, I don't know I can't remember somebody's uh, devastating blow would have taken her out but that she, she freaking avoided that and um, and she also gets buzzed from other people we saw her uh, get some uh, a, a slew of them on uh, the last battle and then she got the Mega Molly Wops bringing it in she uh, takes those uh, buffs turns uh, turns them into extra damage and hits and uh, we did see a one hitter uh, quitter from uh, that E. Watkins uh, battle but I do uh, want to uh, thank my allies my homies they uh, do have this seven star uh, Fulcrum uh, Ahsoka Tano and um you know, I want to thank E. Walken. He's a freaking uh, great guy. I did uh, get a chance to uh, hang out with that guy. Flew out to Boston. We, he took us to a Red Sox game. He's a freaking uh, uh, freaking great guy. He knows his stuff in this game. Most people have a, uh, you know, a money advisor, a financial advisor, but I got a Swoga advisor in the form of E. Walken. And then I got uh, my other ally, Lang, uh, he's rolling with the the Dark Lords of Omega, kicking ass over there. He's um, we saw his. He's a PVP master. I'll put a link to his channel. He does great uh, PVP battle videos. Check him out. It's Leroy Jenkins. And then uh, there's uh, my homie Scrotez from Team Instinct. He had a uh, great uh, Ahsoka Tano too. Seven stars, fully maxed titties on those abilities, and uh. If, this, this, the trend with the modding honor seems to be uh, offense or crit damage, crit chance, and uh, speed. Of course, it's all about speed in this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, where do I rate Ahsoka? I think she'd be a good fit for a rebel team. I don't know how... I guess she uh, doesn't have much just specific to rebels. But she did uh, hit hard with the, the leadership abilities of... Um, What's his name? Uh, frickin' uh, Wedge and Tilly. He's bumping up those offenses. And uh, she was a force to be reckoned with. But uh, um, I don't know. She, she might fit with, in with most teams. I'd have to test drive her. The problem is I don't really have her yet. I mean, I have her, but she's not even usable. So I can't really focus on other synergies. We took her through some light side battles, so it locked me down to some light, died, light side uh, dudes. She might uh, fit in with other teams, but uh, check out other videos floating out, out around out there. But I hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.